Solve the exponential equation using the method of relating the bases by first rewriting the equation in the form e to the u equals e to the v. So this method of relating the bases starts with having you write the equation so that the bases are the same on each side. And once you have it written this way, you can say that the exponents must be equal to each other. So this allows you to solve a simpler equation than the original exponential equation. The equation that we're working with is 1 over e to the 5x equals square root of e over 2, excuse me, e to the 2 minus x. So I'm going to start by trying to make bases the same on both sides. You can see the expressions that I have have base e, and so that's what base I'll use on each side is base e. And as I do this, I'm going to be using some properties of exponents. And as I use the properties, I'll write which properties I'm using on the right side. So one of the properties I'm going to use on the left-hand side involves negative exponents. And this property with negative exponents says that if you have 1 over a to the n, that you're able to write this with a negative exponent as a to the negative n. And it goes back to having negative exponents means reciprocal of the base. So on the left-hand side, I'm going to be able to write the expression 1 over e to the 5x as e to the negative 5x using that property of negative exponents. Then on the right-hand side, I have a radical. And radicals can be written as powers. So in general, if you have the nth root of some value x, you can write that as x to the 1 over n power. Every radical can be written as a power. Now we're dealing with the square root of e, and it doesn't have an index listed on the radical. And when you have no index listed, we know that that's the square root and the index is 2. So I'm going to be able to write the square root of e as e to the 1 half power. I'm going to copy the denominator down. And the next property of exponents that we're going to use involves the fraction that you see on the right. And we call this uh, property that we're going to use the quotient rule for exponents. And the quotient rule for exponents says that if you have a base to a power divided by that same base to a power, then you can keep that base and subtract the exponents. So b to the m over b to the n is b to the m minus n. And that's what I have on the right-hand side of this equation. We have the bases that are the same, and the expressions are being divided. So we'll use that quotient rule for exponents and subtract the exponents. I'm going to copy down the left, and then on the right, we have that base of e, and we'll do 1 half minus 2 minus x. The bases are the same on each side of the equation now. And now that those bases are the same, I can say that the exponents must be equal to each other. So the exponent that we see on the left must equal the exponent that we see on the right. So this is using the method of relating the bases, or other sources might call this the one-to-one -one property of exponents. So we can say that negative 5x 
is equal to 1 half minus 2 minus x. And this gives me a much simpler equation to solve now that those exponential expressions are gone. So I'll use the distributive property with this negative. So negative 5x equals 1 half minus 2 plus x. And it'll be a little easier to solve this problem if I didn't have a fraction. So I'm going to use the clearing fractions method and multiply 2 times every term. That would give me 10x equals 1 minus 4 plus 2x. Let me copy the equation down up here so I have a little bit more space to work. On the right hand side I have some like terms. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. And I'd like to collect the x's, so I'll subtract 2x on both sides. That gives negative 12x equals 3. And then I can solve for x by dividing by negative 12 on each side. That gives x equals negative 1 fourth. So x equals negative 1 fourth is the solution to this equation. So I have a correction that I need to make here. I'm going to highlight the mistake that I made. So right here I have x equals negative 3 and when I carried it down I didn't carry the negative. So I'm going to correct this to be a negative 3 and negative 3 divided by negative 12 would be a positive 1 fourth. So the solution is x equals 1 fourth. Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day.